In this video, I'm going to present how to use the two HTML editors located at the top of the page. There's a rich text editor on the left and a source code editor on the right. These are linked together and whichever you work with, the other one changes in real time. The visual editor works like Microsoft Word or any regular word processor and its usage is very intuitive. Use the toolbar at the top to format the text. Click here to add the link, setting up the URL. At the table, picking the desired dimensions. Add an ordered or unordered list with this one. In order to insert an image in the document, first the image file needs to be uploaded to a web server. When the image file is on the internet, it can be accessed with a URL or a link. Specify the image URL and a short description to add it to your document. Since we're not a hosting company, you can't upload your image files to our website. On the right side, you will find the syntax highlighted source editor. This gives you more control because some changes are easier to make here or can be made in the visual editor at all. The undo button reverts the document back to the state before cleaning or other operation that affects the whole document. To undo a typing error, use the Ctrl Z keyboard command or the undo of the visual editor instead. The next icon erases the page. The third one is for making a backup. Pressing the bottom half saves the text while the top restores it. The color of the icon changes when there's something saved. This backup is erased every time you leave the website. To save your page and all your settings to the cloud, use the save icon at the top. The fourth icon sends the current document to a secondary editor. We'll have a separate video explaining this one. Adjust the font size here. Enable or disable the encoding of special characters with the next button. Set text indentation to preview the hierarchy of the HTML tags. Clicking this once will highlight only the block elements. Press it twice to highlight inline elements too. Be careful because this will insert white characters, new lines and tabs between inline elements which might change the content of the visual document too. Compress the code with this icon. The last small icon saves the content to a URL. The big clean button executes all checked HTML cleaning options. Next, we're going to talk about what these panels do under the editors. 